Apparently I need to clean this area up here again. This is the series of 4400 I keep talking about. And I just bought this movie the other day, San Andreas. It was actually pretty good. It's got The Rock in it for those of you who like The Rock. Need some other hot chicks. She's in there too, but hey. Who wants some treats? Who wants some treats? I got you. These were from our friends in New Brunswick. You gotta do something for it, man. You just can't do that. Hey, sit. Sit. Good boy. When oh, you're already sitting. Good boy. Yeah, I still got his cage here. I put this here because this cage is always open. I never close it on them. But I sort of still have this up from when we went on the ferry. I had to put one of them in there for the ferry. And it's sort of nice that... I don't know, it's sort of nice that if I have, like, if I go into a restaurant for an extended period of time, it's nice to separate them, but I usually don't. I usually just let them, you know, so I'll probably hang that thing back up soon. I don't even really use it. It's just there. So don't freak out if you see cage in the background, okay? It's, I'm not caging my dogs. It's just there. Look, the door's open. I even have a towel here so that it doesn't scratch up my thing here anymore. All right? Strapped open. The door's not going to close. They'll be okay. All right, guys? All right? I do need to fold it up and hang it up there eventually yet, but for now, it's... Kind of nice having it there. Diesel, how you doing, man? How you doing? Doing great, man. Let's get this day going, man. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it, man. So once again, I am super camouflaged. I'm wearing my camouflage shirt and my camouflage hat. So if you just see a head floating around, don't freak out. It's almost Halloween, so should be normal this time of the year. We're here in Guelph, Ontario, right where we left off yesterday. We just walked the dogs, remember that? Uh, they got to run around. I just hooked onto a new trailer. This trailer's taking us down to the southeastern states of the United States of America. Very excited to go down there again. I haven't seen them in a while, so we'll see what happens. I can make it down there on my hours, but I'll probably have to reset there, I'm thinking. I'm not too sure. Might have the hours to recap to get a little further, but for now, I'm hooked up. Let's do our tug test, pre-trip. Oh, pretty trip on the trailer. Do our logbook. Let's get out there. Let's do it. Like a man. Well, here we are, Highway 401. Headed west, or south in my mind, but west. Towards Port here on Michigan. We'll be crossing over the bridge there in an hour or two or three, I don't know, something like that. It's gonna take us a day and a half to get down to Georgia provided everything works well and there's not too much traffic and nothing goes wrong. We're just passing by Cambridge, Ontario right now. Nice little town. Just arriving to the bridge that takes us into Michigan from Ontario. Gotta pay a toll first. Everything's always under construction. Construction, construction, construction. Now, I wonder what they do with all these cement barriers when they're not using them. Like that, that would take up a lot of storage. Sometimes I see them stacked on the side of the highway, but... Eh, maybe they crush them down and make them into something else. Here we go. Crossing the water. Trucks are supposed to be in the left lane, but that tanker on the right there uh, wants to be in that lane, so why not? Why not? Free country. So we are just about over the threshold here, just about. And there it is, the sign. Welcome to the United States of America. Pure Michigan. In 800 meters, they are left on I-69, then keep left. No, that is true. This is pure Michigan. Like, we just left pure Ontario. It wasn't Ontario slash Manitoba. It was pure Ontario. This is pure Michigan. No other state involved. This is Michigan. What does that mean, pure Michigan? What is that referring to? Pure what? Pure water? Pure air? I don't know, but it's pure. Welcome to America. Michigan, to be exact. Michigan, United States of the North America. Highway 
driving to go. So let's turn that into 15 hours to drive. We can only do 11 in a day, and we've already gone a couple today, so we'll go as far as we can today, and the rest we'll do tomorrow. We'll be there a little early because we only have to deliver day after tomorrow at 6 a.m. before the rooster crows. Michigan, you've been doing something very nice with your roads here. They're very nice and smooth. I'd applaud you, but I'm driving. Detroit, you crazy, awesome, amazing city. Look at you, all your buildings and stuff. Very nice. We're about to pass by this Motor City place again. I remember you guys told me what this was last time I went past here. I forget what you guys told me it was though. It's gonna be on the right here, big fancy building. Motor City on it. Is that like a stadium of some kind or what? Big massive Motor City. Maybe it's a casino. Pick exit 2A on right to I-75, then keep right. Yeah, maybe it's a casino. That's what I'm thinking. What do you say, Manny? Right? Okay, right, right here. Right here. Oh, nice lane dive. Not too bad. Keep right on 2I-75 South, then keep left. Towards Toledo. Okay, Toledo. Here we come. Keep left on 2I-75 South. Yes, towards Toledo. Oh, that bump got me last time already. It got me again. Dayton, Ohio. Dayton. You stay in your lane there, buddy? Your lane not big enough for you, buddy? Excuse me. Seven kilometers. Keep left on I-75. Let's just start now. How about that? Dayton, Ohio. Dayton. We're already all the way down here. Looks like the next city is Cincinnati. Cincinnati. I wonder if that's where cinnamon was made. In Cincinnati. one point two kilometers. Keep left on I-75. You know what I've noticed driving through Ohio? The entire state of Ohio is under construction. So just so you know, if you ever come through the states or if you come through here in the next little while, it's summer of 2015, there's a lot of construction. Just be prepared for some delays. Doesn't matter where you are. Here at the Flying J in Paducah, Te uh, Paducah, Kansas, not Texas, not Kansas. Okay, let's try that again. Here at the Flying J in Paducah, Kentucky, waiting for this Western Express guy in front of me to, uh, plug her into that spot. This is a very tight parking lot, so I don't blame him for having a little difficulty. I have a lot of difficulty parking here every time. The boys are very excited because we stopped. That usually means something good. Poor guy's here, just anxiously waiting to go out. Anxiously waiting. We gotta wait for him to park first, man. Gotta wait for him to park. He's still trying. He's got pretty far, but he is getting really close to this truck over here. <whistles> Looks like there's somebody waiting on the other side of him yet too. These parking lots are so tight, it's just completely unreasonable. So I have a feeling we're gonna be heading further down the road. This Flying J here is always packed and I really don't like how tight the lot is. Because even though I have confidence that I can get myself into a spot, most likely, even if it does take a little while, I don't trust the people who are coming in around me to be able to get into a spot without hitting me. So I try to avoid these truck stops when I can. I was hoping that there'd be like a nice gravy parking spot to park in when I pulled in here. I kind of had my doubts, but my doubts were right. I wanted to be at the Flying J because then I could take a shower. I've got free showers here that I can use. We'll do a couple of loops of the lot yet, and if we can't find anywhere to park, we'll have to uh, carry on down the road. I've only been driving, let's see. Come on, come on. About eight hours. So I have three hours left to drive if I want them. So we'll see. This guy's got his rear end into the spot now. Now he's just gotta straighten out his tractor and follow his trailer into the spot. Know what I mean? Just follow the trailer. Follow the trailer. He's doing a good job. Doing a good job. He's got a spotter on the other side there too somewhere. 
We've made it to a dark and spooky place. The loves across the street. You can sort of see their sign from here. If you can see through this window. Right in the back. Yeah, you probably can't see it. Ah, oh, man. I stopped at five truck stops in the last couple of hours trying to find a place to sleep. Packed. One thing I didn't miss about the States is their overpacked truck stops. I wanted a shower tonight. Now I gotta go to bed stinky. Gotta shower tomorrow. No parking at the inn for us. Tried it. Two pilots, a flying J. No, one, two, two flying J's, two pilots, and a Loves. All full in amount of hours. So I went across the street from the Loves. There's a little dark shell gas station here in Kentucky. And we decided to make this our home tonight and park as best we could in the light and whatnot. And I got the dogs with me, whatever. It'll be fine. So see how this goes thanks for joining us today I know it was a lot of road footage <sighs> it's been that kind of day but tomorrow will be more of a relaxed day we only got like six and a half hours to go and we got the whole day to get there so we'll see what happens tomorrow and how was your day diesel oh, it was splendid thanks thanks why you ask just wondering everybody hasn't seen you much they miss you oh I miss him too man yeah, I'm, I'm tired though I can barely wag my tail over there. See, it's right there. I'm trying. I'm trying to wag it there. It takes all my energy. Oh, Diesel. Come here. You can hardly wag his tail and I expect him to come here. <laughs> You're a good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Do you have anything to say to the vlog? Anything at all? Anything at all? Hey. Look at this guy. Look at this guy and this guy right here. Oh, Sarge, Sarge. Okay, he's gonna take up the whole vlog here. All right. You better be careful, man. You're gonna figure out that you're not wearing any pants. How <laughs> careful you point the camera, man. You're funny, Sergeant. You're funny. Thanks. I am being careful. Yes, I know. I already got ready for bed and took my pants off and sitting here in my box and I'm like, oh, I need to vlog a little bit yet. So now that you have that image in your head, you're welcome. I'm gonna leave you on that note. Sergeant, you have anything to add other than that I'm not wearing pants? That was pretty much it, man. I just wanted them to know you're not wearing pants. Yeah, <laughs> you tried to sneak it past them. I ratted you out. You did, didn't you? Thanks, you're such a good friend. Such a good friend. Well, that's what you get for calling me crazy all the time, man. You are crazy, though. You're nuts. Look at You breathe like a walrus, man. Middle of the night, I'll wake up from his breathing. <laughs> He's like, that sounds like me. <laughs> Are you mocking me, mate? <laughs> it's not that bad. But what, he, what happens is he sticks his face into his pillow, and then he breathes like this. <laughs> just like that, yeah. Yeah, just like that. And then I wake up, I'm like, Sergeant, lift your head up. He lifts his head up and then he can breathe again. I don't know why he does that. Look like at this, he sticks his nose right into the corner. Weirdo. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow. We are in, uh, oh, just a little bit further south from Padu Paducah, Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, the place where I talked to you last, so I'm not too sure what the town name is here. I'm gonna have to figure that out before I go to sleep. But we are six and a half hours away from Atlanta, Georgia, so we're doing pretty good. Tomorrow we shall arrive. And tomorrow I'm gonna stop somewhere for a shower, because I need a shower. I do. You gonna keep me safe tonight? We're in like a dark parking lot. See what I mean? No, keep going. Keep going. We had something going there. No? I ruined it. Oh, big one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's make sure their food and water are full, but not too full. Don't want you to have to pee in the middle of the night. I'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Unless if I'm late, then I'll see you later. So if I'm not up at 4 a.m. Central, just wait longer. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait a second, wait a second, I gotta do with this hand. <laughs>